All right, new project. It's been a while. We've been really busy. We're both very active within our church and with everything opening back up, I'm kind of releasing businesses and churches back um, to do their own thing after the whole COVID quarantine. We've just been really busy. Um, so now we have some, we have some time and we're building gutter strawberry planters and we're going to put them on this, on this pallet here. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this pallet on the wall we have back here, just using this spare lumber to create kind of like a hook, a hanger, so I can just, just take a hold onto the top here. And then I'm going to put this, this gutter. One is going to be on this one here. Skip a pallet row, and then one on the other. These are the pallets that come with the saw that I, that I order when I do saw installations. So I have, I, I can get as many as I need. And then at some point, um, very soon, once the strawberries start producing, I will have to create a little gate of a lid out of chicken wire so that the birds don't get to them so that's it's exciting I'll, I'll get to work perfect or commercial but it'll do what we need it to do so very simple just a hook um this 2x4 actually held up the, the pallet really well and it it stayed up but just to add some reinforcement I added it from the, this this all came from one piece of 2x4 I didn't need the uh the, the thinner piece but I put this on here just to Keep it from leaning over so now if it's gonna come off either the screws are gonna break the wood is gonna crack or it's being lifted somehow we've had some pretty strong winds so well then it's just out of security if you're gonna do something just do it right the first time so now just gotta cut this to link get those on there and screw it on to the pallet It's done. We just gotta fill it with dirt and get those strawberry plants in there. And we have, I don't know, 
know if it's visible on camera, but we have that telephone wire where a lot of birds tend to hang out. And they, we don't want them messing with our plants. So further on, I'm, I need to get that wire that I can bend and form so I can make a, a nice cover, a wire cover so that birds don't get to our plants. But for now, that's what it's gonna look like. All right, so we got, got some holes drilled, water drainage, some weed fabric stapled to the side, keep the dirt from falling out. And now we have strawberry plants. Yes, we do. How many are there? Okay, so you can put three on each one. What other thing? What's this thing called again? A trellis? Yeah, so trellis made from some scrap wood from one of my clients that were cleaning out their yard and I thought it could be useful. And it was. And I just made a U shape. So just up, over, and back down. And that's just to hold it so the wind won't knock it over. And then I just strung some chicken wire, stapled it onto here so that these cucumbers will grow upward. Cucumbers need, I think, two feet between each plant, unless you use a trellis where the plant grows upward and then you can have it as close as three inches together. So I'm saving some space. And I think that's gonna be the last for today. Well, besides this little box I made, we have some mint plants that kind of take over. So I made a box with some, some scrap wood, drilled some holes for water drainage, and we're gonna plant or mint there. A little bit more dirt. Should have put a little pan in there. Let this expand. It's kind of cool to have all sorts of plants. In this case, it takes over the whole dirt. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so I just hit the Cal Ranch store. Um, I forgot to bring my camera in because again, I'm not used to recording everything. Um, but they didn't have everything I needed anyway, so I need to hit the another one about 20 30 minute drive away which usually would be a problem but i'm gonna head down there to pick up um some baby chicks anyways so that isn't a problem 
I managed to get a, a brooding like little area container. Um, the food and the lamp. So what I need from down there is uh, bedding, bedding, a watering system, and a feeding system. Um, and then I should be able to go home, set up. Well, from there I should be able to go pick up the chicks, go home, set everything up, and then we'll have some mini birds. So that's exciting. We'll we'll see what happens from there. Um, I've heard they're supposed to kept in the brooding system for two weeks and then you kind of upgrade them out to a, to a chicken coop so I need to get building on a chicken coop as well but for now I figured might as well take advantage of the extra time I have to go pick up the birds and as they get used to as they grow big enough and strong enough to be moved up to the coop I can I can actually build a coop itself so we'll I'll carry you guys around and keep you posted. Alright, so there was a slight change of plans. The guy I was supposed to buy the baby chicks from, uh, he no-showed. So I got on local classifieds and started looking for somewhere, well, anywhere I can pick up some different baby chicks. And I found this other dude, and it was, a, it was way better that way. Um, this guy knew what he was doing. He had a big piece of property. He's been doing this for years. And I found, I got a few, I got a box. Well, I gotta set this stuff up first. Um, and then I got a box full of these little buggers. Just hanging out in there. So, I'll set this up real quick and then I'll pull the camera back out again. Slight oversight, it has no bottom. So I'm gonna tear that up. Actually, no, never mind, I got bigger. I've got way bigger uh, cardboard boxes in the trash, so let me just grab one of those real quick. I was wrong, it wasn't bigger boxes, it was just a lot more boxes from all the gear that I got to fill that bag. But, it'll work, I'll just do some old arts and crafts and stuff and put that together as well. So let's get let's get moving on that. All right, so here it is. 
food and water on the opposite side of the lamp. The lamp, I have it pointed right down here, on the, just right in this corner. That's warm. So that the baby chicks get warm, they can come closer to here. Well, if they get cold, they come closer to here. If they get cold and they want to get away from it, they go that way. Well, the guy who sold me the, the baby chicks said was that he uses a regular 20 watt bulb or 40 watt bulb instead of the 240 watt one because this will he said it will cook them so i will keep this elevated keep it kind of high well let me do that now i'll switch it so it's higher and at the same time only point it in to one end of it so that if they get too warm they can just move to the opposite end now i'll just keep an eye on them if they're moving to the opposite end too much i'll try to raise it up a little bit more all right here comes the chicks Hey! Oh, you're all cold? It's okay, guys. Here. It's okay. Come here. Come here. You too, guys? Oh, you're so tiny! You're so tiny and so adorable. Hey, you. Hey, you're not gonna poop on me, are you? Well, I can feel how tense he is. There you go, bud. I know these shavings are too big, but it's the only, only thing I could find. Oh, this one's a smaller one. So these are dual purpose birds. Um, so dual purpose meaning eggs and meat. They, oh, he's grabbing onto me. Do you want to get off that? They're, they're very good egg layers, especially here in Utah where it gets, where it gets colder. Um, they they do very well in the in the those colder it's colder weather. But also they they're very big birds. They grow up to be very big birds, um, so they're very very good for switch is what's higher, and at the same time only point it in to one end of it so that if they get too warm, they can just move to the opposite end. Now I'll just keep an eye on them. If they're moving to the opposite end too much, I'll try to raise it up a little bit more. All right, here comes. The chicks. Hey! Oh, you're all cold? It's okay, guys. Here. Oh, you're so tiny. You're so tiny and so adorable. Hey, you. Hey, you're not going to poop on me, are you? Well, I can feel how tense he is. There you go, bud. I know you're cold. It's okay. Yeah. I know these shavings are too big, but it's the only, only thing I could find. Oh, this one's a smaller one. So these are dual purpose birds. Um, so dual purpose meaning eggs and meat. They, oh, he's grabbing onto me. Do you want to get off that? They're they're very good egg layers, especially here in Utah where it gets where it gets colder. 
um, they they do very well in the in the those colder it's colder weather. But also they they're very big birds. They grow up to be very big birds, um, so they're very very good for for meat as well. Yeah, so they grow up to be very they, they grow to be very big birds. I saw the ones they had there and they were it's easily uh, between five and seven pounds. Roosters of course grow bigger. Um how many do I have here? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's there's ten birds. Uh, about ten, um, because fifty percent of the chicks born are male and I'm only allowed I'm legally allowed to only have hens I can't have any roosters so if any of those are roosters um, catch clean and cook or just sell them off um, right now meat's very expensive though so I might raise it and then just eat it because again meat bird but we'll see what happens they're doing okay now let me show one where food is come here bud Look, see, you got food here. Look, see, food and water. If you're thirsty, you can just dip your head in there. Just dip your head. There you go, see, you got it. And then if you're hungry, just kind of just dip your head in there. I guess right now they're sleepy. And I guess they're cold, because I did, I did have them in my truck for quite a bit. It was a 45 minute drive from where I live. And again, what happened, the story there is, I was supposed to meet a guy in a town that was only a 20 minute drive from where I live, but he flaked out on me. Um, so I immediately went onto the internet, see who was selling chicks. I found this guy who had, it was it was really cool. If, I, if I'm planning on getting more, I'll definitely go back to him again. Um, and he set me up, oh, that's gross. That, that little dude just pooped. Right over here, little yellow dude, and it sounded moist. Anyways, um, so found that guy. He gave me these, and he explained fifty percent of the chicks born are female, fifty percent are male. So there's a possibility these are males. Um, not very many will survive, unfortunately. Oh well, actually, he gave me a pretty good deal as well. These aren't newborns. Usually, the guy. The guy hatches them on Fridays, he sells them off, and not very many make it. These have been alive for about a week already, so I'm only gonna only have to keep them here for, for another week, and then move them out. Which means I have a week to build the coop. And that's another feature. That's a whole other thing on it, in and of itself. Um, so the reason, this is my office. It's kind of a mess right now because I'm Gearing up to go camping, backpacking, I should say. Uh, but the reason I have them in here, instead of out in my garage, um, is because one, our garage isn't, it isn't a connected garage. I can't just leave one of the back, one of the back doors and into the cars. Our garage, for some reason, our, was built like way back in the property, um, and it's detached. And the people who lived before, they use it. I guess to rent it out um, to some other dudes, but they were all like heavy drug users. So the whole building is messed up and it's not usable. The doors won't close. And of course we're in the city. So we're within city limits. So there's raccoons and all this other stuff that will get in and they will eat little birds like this. So for now, so they're stuck in my office for now um, until they grow up a little bit bigger and they can sustain themselves a little bit more. And then from there, I will move them. We, we already designated a spot. Let me just check your lens here. Oh, it's cracked. Oh, there's a big old crack. That's not cool. Well, it's a good thing I put lens protectors on there. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, we already have a spot designated for a chicken coop. And I will get on that as soon as, as, soon as I can. Um, I have a lot of extra lumber, a lot of extra a lot of things. I have everything needed to actually build it. The only thing I need is um, to designate the time to do it. So as, as soon as these guys are a little bigger, we will move them out to where they're 
permanent home is going to be. But for now, this is their temporary residence.